Holy Father. And we will praise Him for the rest of Yes, we will praise Him for the rest of our day. Ah. Come, somebody shout hallelujah. I say, all around, all around, everywhere I look, your love is all around, all around, all around, all around. everywhere I look, all around, all around me, everywhere I look, your love is all around, all around, all around. Look your love is all around Everywhere I look your love is all around Everywhere I look your love is all around All around All around All around, all around. Everywhere I look your love is all around All around All around, yeah. all around. All around. Everywhere I look your love is all around All around All around Everywhere I look your love is all around, all around, all around, yeah. all around. Everywhere. everywhere, everywhere I look your love is all around, 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 all around, all around, all around, everywhere, everywhere I look your love is all around. Begin to lift him up. Just lift him up. Oh. Two, two, two. Let's begin to win one mood of worship as we worship the King of Kings worthy. Just raise your hands to him. Just wake up the Holy Spirit in our midst this hour. Just begin to say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy 
Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I love you. You guide me no things. Yes, you guide me no things. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you have opened my eyes. Yes, you have opened my eyes. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I want you to put your gaze on Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I love you. You guide me no peace. Yes, you guide me no peace. Holy Spirit, 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 I love you, I love you. I 
you to talk to Jesus. Lord, as I've come to your presence, let me not go back the same way I came. Just begin to speak to Jesus. And as we gather, Lord, we For your speaking, we ain't in an experience with you. May we find you as we gather, Lord, before thee, opening our heart and soul to you. May your spirit. For your speaking, we look at experience with you. May we find you. May we ever be in your presence the way we came before. We will let you change. May our lives be changed.
Go ahead. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Open your mouth, child of God. Declare your utmost surrender to the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to call the name of God in your life in that situation. Open your mouth and pray, child of God. Open your mouth and begin to declare, declare, declare the power of God. Supreme over every situation. Pray in the spirit, child of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Talk to the Father of all flesh, the Father of all spirit. He will hear you. Open your mouth and pray, child of God. You are here in the presence of the Lord. You shall never go back empty-handed. The grace of the Lord shall rest upon you. Somebody is praying. Pray, child of God. We worship you in the truth. We worship you in the spirit. Worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the spirit. That's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Lift up your voice in prayers. Tell the Lord I have come. I shall not go back empty handed. Open your mouth and pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit means to surrender yourself and allow the Holy Spirit to use you to pray to the Father that you may make groans that is pleasing to the ears of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Pray from the depth of your being. Tell the Father, I have come to encounter you. Let me behold your light. Let me behold your glory. Let this situation change in my life. Somebody's praying. Go ahead and pray. Pray, child of God. Pray. You are here before the Lord. The grace of the Lord shall rest upon you. The power of the Most High shall come upon you. The power shall overshadow you. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed. That you shall become a sign and a wonder. Pray in the Spirit. Talk to your God in your spirit. Tell the Lord, Father, this is what has brought me before you. Lord, I have come to seek your face. As I behold your face, oh God, let me advance into one level of glory after another level of glory. Somebody's praying. Into the holy of holies. That's where I want to be. Into the holy Into the holy of holies. That's where I want to be. We worship you in the holy of holies. We worship you in the holy of holies. We of God scripture says in Matthew chapter 13 verse 25 it says but while men were sleeping the enemy came and sowed wheat among the wheat 
and went away. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this will not be my portion. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand at my watch. I can hear you. I stand at my watch. And I decree and I declare. I sound a trumpet of praise. As I sound the trumpet of prayer. As I lift the incense of prayer. Oh God my father. What you have not planted in my life. What you have not planted in my family. What you have not planted in my business. What you have not planted in my generation. But has been sown by the enemy. It withers away. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and make it a prayer. Open your mouth and pray. It withers away, child of God. This is a word of God in Matthew chapter 15 verse 13. Every plant with my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. Somebody pray. Begin to plant into tongues and prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Every seed that the father has not planted shall be uprooted. Lord, as I sound the trumpet of praise, as I sound the song trumpet of prayer, as I lift the incense of prayer, heavenly father, let there be a change. I pass a decree in the realm of the spirit. Everything that has not been planted by my father, we does away, shall be uprooted, shall be destroyed. Somebody go ahead and pray. Pray, child of God. Holy of holies, we worship one. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? The word of God says in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let every darkness around my life around my family be blown away I arise my light shall shine before men and women in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth lift up your voice and make it a prayer child of God arise and shine arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you all darkness covering you shall be blown away. I rise, I shine by the power, by the grace of the Lord. I go forward by grace, by prophecy. I go forward every day declaring the wonders of the Lord. Men and women shall see the light and the grace and the power of God at work in my life. I arise and I shine. Somebody pray. I arise, oh God. He says the command came. Arise and shine. No more going down. No more humiliation. No more rejection. No more disappointment. No more anxieties. I arise and I shine unto righteousness, unto faith, unto goodness, unto joy, unto peace. I pray, I press forward, I roll with the race to win the wreath that the Lord has presented for me and prepared for me and my generation. Pray, following online here, present, pray. That's where I want to be. 
Why will your light shine? Why will your light shine? So that men may see the works of God in you. Verse 3 says, And nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. It means that it's not only today you will shine, but it's all the days of your life you will shine. You will go forward by power, by prophecy, by the authority, by the name of the Lord. Arise and shine wherever you are located in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that troubles your life, may the Lord silence it. You have come into the presence of the Lord, may you encounter him. Even as you leave the presence of the Lord, may you go back with a testimony. May you declare before men and women that I came and I encountered God and the Lord answered my prayer. Your testimony will not be far from you. It will not be taken away from you. If you believe, say a bigger amen. amen. See that everybody in the name of Jesus. Friends, brothers and sisters, we continue our teaching on the secret, the mysteries of the kingdom of God. The weapons of spiritual warfare. So this morning I release for you and I seven weapons of spiritual warfare. The first weapon is the weapon of prayer. The first weapon. The Bible says in Luke chapter 18 verse 1. one that men ought to pray and not grow weary. So prayer is meant for man. That man must always pray and never grow weary. Sometimes, or even as you pray, there may be delays. There will be several months of anxiety as if God were not to answer. But the Bible tells you and I in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, which will be my second reading for tomorrow's liturgy. It says, all things work unto good for those who do what? Love God. That it means that as I love God, I wait on him. And as I wait on him, I'm not waiting on him in foolishness or in futility. I wait on him in prayer, believing that at the scent of the word, light will come. And that is why scripture says to you this morning, arise, shine, for your light has come. And what? The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Now when the light of God comes upon a man, every darkness in his life goes away. The agency that guarantees and helps you to assess this light of God is the agency of prayer. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11. It says through prayer you are able to Declare God's dominion and God's sovereignty over everything that troubles you. It says, therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of what? God the Father. That every time I pray, I am not just blabbing. I am what intentional and methodic in my prayer. And then I allow the Holy Spirit to lead me in prayer. That while I pray, the things around me begin to be transformed. That as I begin to pray, I evolve into a better version of myself. Child of God, the word of God tells you and I that there are four ways to make your prayers effective. It is not just praying and sounding emotional. It is for you to pray using certain keys that you may be able to advance onto the right path and release the hand of God upon your life and upon your destiny. The word of God tells you and I in Luke chapter 18 verse 1 to 8. It talks to you about the woman who went to meet the unjust judge. That when you are, if you are about to pray, child of God, your prayer must first move you before it moves God. That you do not come to the presence of God and you are applying reason. No. Your spirit man must be able to pray to connect to God. Deep calling on deep. 
that my spirit reaching out to the spirit of the Lord. That as I stand in the presence of the Lord, I am speaking from the depth of my being. Look at Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 1 to 10. She came before the temple. Then nothing happened. Then she came again. And then she prayed. And the moment she prayed in her spirit, what happened? The Lord sent the prophet Eli to go and declare the word of God upon her life. When Eli came to her, he said, you are a woman who is drunk. He said, no, I'm not drunk. I'm a woman who is in travail. That I'm praying in the spirit. That the more I pray, I make groans. That it is only the Holy Spirit that can help me to pray in a language that the Father of all spirit, the Father of all flesh can hear. That while I am growing, while I am praying in the spirit, it takes time to pray. You do not just come into the atmosphere of prayer and expect to meet God. No, you, there must be a build up. First, you must first and foremost separate yourself from the noise. Secondly, you must encounter the word of God. Thirdly, you must surround, surround your atmosphere with worship. And then you move into prayers, decreeing and declaring the word of God upon your life and upon your destiny. For your prayer to move God, it must touch the core of your being. It requires persistence. It requires endurance. It requires faith in the Lord. That this God I have come to behold will never fail me. That I trust the Lord. I look up to the mountain from where cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made what? Heaven and earth. It means that I do not rush my prayer. I take time to pray. Because as I pray, I know that things can change. As I pray, the hand of God can move. As I pray, the Lord can deliver me. As I pray, the Lord can grant me all my heart desires. As I pray, the atmosphere around me can become pure. As I pray, every hand of the enemy troubling my life and my destiny can be withered away because I have subjected myself to the agency of prayer. That I lift up the incense of prayer. And the glory of the Lord comes down. That every day I pray, I press forward. I know that it's the God who answers. The God who answered, let it be my God. The God who answered Elijah, let it be my God. The God who answered Elisha, let it be my God. The God who answered Ezekiel. Mortal man can these dry bones come back to life. He says only you have the word. He said breathe upon these particular dry bones. And they will come back to life. That every dead thing in my life. Through the ministry of prayer. I release the breath of God over them. And as I release the breath of God over them. I enter into the realm of testimony. It takes prayer to secure your testimony. It takes prayer to secure your position. It takes prayer to stay away the hand of the enemy. It takes prayer to advance and move forward. If your prayer does not move you, it can never move God. Secondly, if your prayer must be effective, it must be done in no other name. Apart from the name of Jesus. That I decree and I declare. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan out of my life. Remember that the name of Jesus is not just magic. It takes relationship to release the hand of God. It takes relationship. That as I relate with God every day. I begin to understand that the name of God is a banner that the righteous runs to and then they are protected. It, it is that particular name that covers me. It is that name that goes ahead of me. It is that name that is my identity. It is that name that is my confidence. The name of Jesus. It is that name that terrorizes and terrifies the kingdom of darkness. That as you call the name of Jesus in every situation that troubles your life, may God arise and defend you. That as you call the name of the Lord, even as you are going through difficulty, may he send help us to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That a woman will go into labor and go into the hospital 
And then while the whole procedure is going on, she calls the name Jesus. Then the doctor, the supreme doctor, the most excellent God, comes and grants her delivery like the Hebrew women. Because that name is a name that delivers. That name is a name that assigns men on earth to help you. It is a name that brings you healing. It is a name that brings you deliverance. It is a name that brings you strength and confidence. The name of Jesus. That when I go in, into any battle, I am a winner. When I go into any battle, I am what? A winner. I go on Monday, I am a winner. On Tuesday, I am a winner. I want you to declare that. On Wednesday, I am what? On Thursday, I am what? On Friday, I am what? On Saturday, I am what? On Sunday, I am what? In July, I am what? August, I am what? October, I am what? November, I am what? December, I am what? All the days of my life, I am what? A winner because Jesus goes with me. Let the name of the Lord be exalted. The next thing that makes your prayer effective your prayer must be done according to the will of God. Your prayer must be done according to the will of God. The will of God for you is to remain in his presence. The will of God can also be for you to serve him. That everywhere you go to, men are telling you that you must serve God. But you are running away. Why are you running? And the more you run away, you find yourself not hitting on that particular success that you're looking for. But the day you open your eyes and say and allow yourself to actually cooperate with the will of God, then you begin to press into a new season. Sometimes the Lord might be quiet. For example, there are seasons. Even as you are praying, there is a season of silence. The will of God at that point in time is for you to dwell more in his presence. He's telling you, do not rush your season. Stay in his presence. Stay in my presence. Study him so that you may prove yourself worthy. You may prove yourself a good servant. You may prove yourself a good steward. You are staying in his presence. The will of God for you is not to be like others. The will of God is for you to build yourself so that when your season of appearing comes, that because what ushers your season appearing is the season of his voice. The voice of the Lord oak echoes and says, This is my son in whom I am well pleased. I am well pleased. It means that you need to stay in the presence of God and carry a grace. I stay forward. I remain silent. I press forward waiting for the right time. Others may be rushing. I wait. I wait. I wait on you. This is the will of God for you. Serve Christ. The will of God for you is to remain in the place of prayer. You may not compare yourself with others. While others are doing well, and it appears as if there is a curse upon your life, do not worry. When your season of appearing comes, you find yourself, when you come out, men, all men will come to seek you because God has prepared you like a mighty arrow. You are a mighty man of valor. This is what I pray for our lady star of the sea. As you remain in the presence of the Lord. Every day dwell in his presence. That you have come seeking his face. When you go out. May you become a sign and a wonder. In the mighty name of Jesus. The prayer must be done. According to the will of God. Friends. The next ingredient to make your prayer effective. Child of God is that your prayer must be done in thanksgiving. Your prayer must be done in thanksgiving. Remember, we have taught you that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. We taught you last week the enemy can actually, when we're talking about the ordinary works of the devil, the demonic activity, he can provoke you to actually speak a word that nobody loves you. No, God is not going to answer you. But when you actually begin to thank God, 
what happens, you are releasing and telling yourself in confidence, I believe in this God who has the power to deliver me. The word of God tells you and I in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, it says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 says, Pray at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication. To the end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. You must always remain in the place of prayer. And the more you pray, child of God, in thanksgiving, God moves to bless you. Thanksgiving can all be enough prayer when if you are thoughtful, you will sit down to reflect and know that through your journey, it has been God. A man may come into the presence of God, two men may come into the presence of God, while one will rush the prayer and go out, the other one is very thoughtful, sitting and remembering and saying, God, I remember the way I was born. I remember how you led me through my primary and secondary school. I remember how you delivered me from that accident. I remember how you sent helpers to me. I remember how you actually granted me access with ease in the presence of men. That I went for this interview and things worked according to your plan for me. Lord, I say thank you. Lord, I say thank you. In one minute, I want you to rise and begin to worship and say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you have done in my life, in my family, in my business. Lift up your voice and say thank you. Just in one minute, open your mouth and say thank you. Through it all, it has been you. My life would have been snuffed away if you had not come, if you had not shown up. Lord, I say thank you. Lord, I thank you for the morning. Lord, I thank you for the afternoon. Lord, I say thank you for the evening. Lord, I thank you for the night. Even the battles that I do not know about. Oh God, you have been fighting for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for provisions. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for men. Thank you for my workers. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Thank you for what you are doing. I exalt your holy name because you are worthy to be praised. Thank you. Thank him, thank him, child of God. Thank him, thank him. Open your mouth and thank him. Just say one minute, open your mouth and thank him for healing, for grace, for strength. Lord, I thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For you are everlasting, for you are my God. I trust, I believe. Lord, there is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May your grace abide in my life. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for how you delivered me from the grip of the enemy. I thank you for provisions. May your name be exalted now and forever in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you be seated, a child of God. Thanksgiving shows that you are thoughtful. That you are thoughtful. God has been there for you through it all. You stand and you come to church every day. It is not by your strength. You are able to make money. It is not by your wisdom. It is not by your skill. You are a sinner. Yet despite your sinfulness, God is still granting you mercy. God is still showing you that he is God. The enemies may gather and conspire against you. But from them all, the Lord delivers you. It takes grace to fly out of the country and come back without any plane crash. It takes the grace and the protection of God to drive your car and go to work and return without any accident or police case. These are simple things happening all around us. And a thoughtful person must take time to thank God for what he has done. As you thank God, the Lord releases his hand. When you thank God, the Lord moves to do more for you. Thanksgiving is a seed for more. There are those who assume to position today for sickness have not enabled them 
to enjoy the blessings of that position. But here you are in good health of mind and body. God has given you health. Giving you health is enough for you to be healthy. So when you come into the realm of God, you have to stop praying. Child of God, it is not for you to rush your prayer. Take time to thank Him. Thank Him for everything that you have done. Thank Him. And when you thank Him, He opens doors for you. May He open doors of blessings unto you and your household now and forever in the mighty name of Jesus. The seed to silence the enemy who come to tell you that you are useless, that you can't make it, that your children will disappoint you, that men and women will fail you, is Thanksgiving. Never put your hand up on you. I told one woman, I said, I don't want to see your hand like this. I don't want to see. Always say thank you. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for my son. Because I know this battle is of you. You will handle this situation. Because the devil can tell you, give it up. Die. Just go and die. End it all. You say, in the name of Jesus Christ, of I will not die. I will live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I will live to see my children become useful. I will live to see my children and go forward. I will live to see my children marry and give birth. I will live to see my grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cannot spend money on my children and then the devil comes to tell me, end it all. The fruit of my labor, I will enjoy it. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? So Thanksgiving is very important. And the holy mass, the holy mass that you and I tell, if which God has given us a privilege to be a celebrant, is an opportunity to thank God. The mass is simply thanksgiving. I told you some time ago that the mass means four things. To break it down, the mass means prayer. The mass, the holy mass, is a prayer. Number two, the holy mass is what? Thanksgiving. Number three, the holy mass is sacrifice. Number four, the holy mass is what? Worship. I told you this some time ago. That this four mass makes the holy mass. Whether you are a Catholic or you are not a Catholic, that when you come into the atmosphere where the holy mass is being celebrated, you are a privileged one. Let me tell, take your mind back to the word of God in Psalm 50. The word of God says something there in Psalm 50. I want you to sing that song. Only you, only you, my God. Only you, only you, my God. You are the king who reigns forever. Only you are Only you are Five says that every time you find yourself in the presence of the Lord, where the Holy Mass is being celebrated, it tells you, verse 5 says, Gather to me, my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So the Mass is a sacrifice. You are partaking in the sacrifice of the cross, you are partaking in thanksgiving with Christ to God the Father. You are partaking in prayer through Christ to God the Father. 
you are partaking in worship with Christ to God the Father. So the Holy Mass is a gift of God to men. A rare privilege that at Holy Mass, you are able to partake of the food of the angels. It's an important prayer. So you must know that the Mass is prayer. And the highest form of all prayer is what? The Holy Mass. Now, what is the assignment of prayer? This is found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. Prayer simply tells you it is a time to share with God and to fellowship with God. If you have time for your children and your wife, you must have time at the end of the day with God. Remember that if you are able to share with God as with a friend, then the Lord reveals to you secret after secret. Remember Elisha was able to sneak through two saints in the realm of the spirit, the attacks of the Syrian army against the king of Israel. And then the king of Syria was angry. Who is revealing the plan, my plan, to this king? And I know it is this man, Elisha. When you dwell in prayer, the Lord reveals secrets to you. And that is why you can come out and you speak to a man, and the man will feel that word, who told you about me? Nobody told him. From the place of prayer, the Lord reveals to you, he drops it in your spirit. And then when he drops it in your spirit, you begin to speak according to the spirit, not according to the flesh. And then when you speak according to the spirit, the person begins to understand that indeed it is true what this particular man has said. I have been guilty of this. Then I begin to make effort to actually change. It is now not your business if the man or the woman begins to fight what you are saying. You have actually done what the Lord has actually you have simply communicated. So it is important for you to share with, your, with God. God, when you share with God, God can drop in your spirit a dead sentence about your son or your daughter. You can have a dream that my son, I just saw him in the dream, he died. Now when the Lord reveals a thing in your dream, it is actually, he has given you the solution to actually silence it. Once the Lord has revealed a thing, it simply means that the enemy will not have power to do what? Act it out. So it now behoves on you as a child of God to go back into prayer. You can move into seven days fasting and say, my son will not die. I decree and I declare that the voice of the grave that is calling for my son be covered and be silent. That my son as you go forward, you will continue to enjoy grace and blessings. You will not die by the road. You will not die in your sleep. You will live full ripe old age. You sense it in your spirit. And that is why it is very dangerous in a family when the father is blind and the mother is blind. Then you are looking for people outside. This is why people put themselves into wrong particular connections. Moving from one ministry after another, looking for people to pray for them, and then they get themselves contaminated. Because you are not praying. So you pay people to actually pray for you. So, those people who are you actually paying to pray for you, you can actually pray for yourself. And then when you pray, the Lord will answer. The Lord will answer it, Elijah. Let it be my God. The Lord will deliver Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Let it be my God. He said, O king, whether God will deliver us or not, will not bow to this molten image that you are made. And then, he threw, the king was very angry and he threw them into the world, the fairy furnace. And then he immediately, remember that as they intensified the heat of the furnace, it burnt one of the gods. And then as soon as they entered, every chain melted away. This is the hand of God. And then the fourth man was in the fire. The fourth man in the fire will arise to shield you, will arise to defend you, will arise to protect you, will arise to make your atmosphere come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The fourth man in the fire, when you pray, you release the hand of God. That it tells you that an attack on your prayer life is a real attack. Because when you are prayerless, you become powerless. You become blind. I told you that you may not necessarily have a formal posture. 
But even while you are speaking, you send something in your spirit, you begin to pray. You are driving, you send something in your spirit, you begin to pray. You are cooking, you send something in your spirit, you begin to pray. And then the hand of the enemy can never fail. When you are talking about sharing and fellowship, this is a quiet time, a place in your home. Some people have an altar in their home. It is places where your family should have altars in their home. And but if you don't have altar in your home, create a particular section where you meet with God, where you connect with God. You see, I was sharing with Father Sufo that sometimes I get into my room, I feel a genuflection, and I remember that it's my room because you must surround your atmosphere with what the mysteries of the spirit. The atmosphere becomes the dwelling place, the meeting point for you and God. But every time you get into that place, that is, you have opened a portal in your home that years after your children, when they begin, maybe one day they just stroll and then they sleep, they put their head there. They will see something that they have never seen before in their life. They will know that something actually is happening here. Mothers, fathers, please, those following online, here present, create time to pray, to share with God. And when it's time for prayers, do not joke with it. Do not joke with it. Because truth, look at the way we have actually created the structure for Saturday prayer. The watch, the praises, and the worship, they are actually weapons that you can use. That you do not wait only when the prayer is coming, or when the word of God is coming, even as the praises is going on, that you are clap. Is what? A, a, a weapon. Your lifting up your voice is a weapon. Then when the prayer comes, it sharpens what? Your weapon. Child of God, you must understand that when you are in the atmosphere of prayer, you do not fold your hands or you are distracted. Because if you are distracted, it means there can be spirits that have been sent out that can actually enter. You never know. Instead of you to come into the presence of God and receive, you come into the presence and carry body. I pray, not in a lady star of the sea, that every time you come into the presence of the Lord, every body that you have come with, the Lord shall take them away and the Lord shall bless you and shall fill you with his power and his grace in the mighty name of Jesus. The second assignment of prayer is for you to surrender to God. When you pray, it shows that you believe in God. This is assignment of prayer. Number three, prayer is an opportunity for you to make requests and plead with God. It's also a platform where you make legislation. I decree and I declare. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. That you are decreeing and declare, you are actually canceling and you are passing a decree in the realm of the spirit, and you are telling Satan of my life, of my family. Remember, it is very important that you always come in the assembly of the brethren to pray. That the more you pray, the more your grace is strengthened, your, your anointing is sharpened. Then the fourth assignment of prayer is that it is a platform where you acknowledge and then you praise God. That I will praise God all the days of my life. I will declare his perfect praise in the assembly of the brethren. Second weapon. The second weapon is the weapon of worship. Worship. Worship is a mighty weapon that can quell the hand of the enemy against your family, against your life. Prayer is not just a private thing. It requires not just praying for others, but praying with others. And the simple expression of this is the Holy Mass. The simple expression of praying with others is found in the Holy Mass. It is an important spiritual weapon, spiritual weapon in spiritual warfare. And the most perfect prayer you can join in with others is the prayer of the Holy Mass. Now, worship is a spiritual weapon on its own. Then when we worship God at Mass, we are entering into the presence of God in a powerful way. 
Because when we enter into the presence of God in a power, this powerful way, we find that the demons that actually oppress and seek to drown us cannot enter into the presence of God. What Satan cannot do is what you are giving God. Worship. Satan cannot bow before God. Satan cannot worship God. But you, show me a man who worships God and I will tell you a man whom Satan will be out of his life. That you worship God. That it is a part of that even as you are at mass, you do not allow anything to distract you. Father Sugo was sharing with me his experience. That one day while he was at prayer, he saw a vision of the Lord telling him to keep his hands this way while he's praying. The posture of any man or woman before the presence of God is to keep your hands together. The only person who has a right to open his hands at mass is the priest. Because it is the hand of what prayer, the hand of what intercession, the hand in which Moses actually lifted. And then as he lifted his hands, the children of Israel gained victory. This is the highest altar. The child of God, whenever you come into the presence of God, do not allow yourself to be distracted. Young, old, get a pen, get a jotter. It is not when the Holy Mass is on, it's not a time for you to be moving up and down saying you want to urinate. It's not a time where you get, begin to press your phone. It is not a time where you get and you begin to teach chat. No, it's not the time. It is a time where you concentrate your attention because the enemy who is troubling your life, just only the mass can quell the hand of the enemy. When you attend the Holy Mass with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your spirit, you have fulfilled one of the dictates of spiritual laws. And you find yourself, there is no how I told you, you can never come to the presence of God sad and live sad. Praise the Lord. You can never come into the presence of God sad and then you live sad. It means that it's not mass you came to. So it takes time for you to actually pay attention to everything. There is no one part that is greater than the other part. All of them make a whole. All of them are prophecies. All of them are statements from the name of the Father to what? The dismissal. And that is why it is dangerous for you to leave the Mass without the blessing at the end of the Mass. Very dangerous. It is important that while you come to Mass, from the beginning, it is good you come early. You come few times. Yes, we understand that sometimes on Sunday, the, the activities in the mass, mass may not allow us to finish each mass very well. And um, to finish the mass on time before the other mass comes in. But it's also important that you still come early. That while you are there in your car, you do not allow yourself to be distracted. And it's important that even as you are going to mass, it is not a time to begin to play hip hop hooray. Begin to play sukere dance. It is not a time to begin to play asonto. It is not a time to begin to play shoki, shakiti bobo, shakiti bobo. It is not a time for you to play that. It's a time that either you slot in the rosary and you are meditating, that your spirit man must be attuned. Because you are coming to meet God. Remember the song. Take us from glory to glory. From love to deeper loving. May we become more like you. So it's important. That when you are coming to mass. You don't come to mass chewing gum. That even those who are ministering. They prepare themselves. Ask these particular brothers. Who are actually I'm singing here ask them what I teach them every now and then every part is important every part is a message every part is prophetic you must take time to prepare the entrance select your praises select your worship because there's a platform where I send the worship songs to them that while I am praying, I am actually begging God. The Lord releases. And that is why I frown at them that if I send a song and you do not score it. 
Because you are shutting that particular aperture or that, that, that particular window for which you can release grace. You will not tell me that I am busy doing something. No. It means that you are treating this particular prayer secondary. And that is this where you get your daily bread. This is where your, your life is being sharpened and when you are shaped. You don't treat God secondary. You treat God primary. Praise the Lord. You treat God primary. When you treat God primary, God will treat you primary. That everything that you are rushing and scattering, the Lord begins to arrange your life. God is a God of pattern. Remember as Jacob was roaming up and down, God said, I'm still waiting for you. Then when he has sent his family and his, and his children ahead, his wife and his children ahead, and when he was alone, there was a man that came and he rested with him from night till early morning. I said, leave me, I want to go. He said, no, I will not let you go unless you do what? Bless me. So the Holy Mass is an opportunity for you to become like Jacob. I will never let you go unless you do what? Bless me. Everybody say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I have come to seek your face this morning, I will never let you go unless you bless me open your mouth and begin to pray even as you are seated there I will never let you go unless you bless me bless me oh God bless me as you bless Abraham as you bless Isaac as you bless Jacob as you deliver share that mission and Abednego bless and deliver me grant me rest oh God I pray Father open doors for me bless me I have come to behold your face I will never let you go unless you bless me somebody pray in the Holy Ghost pray child of God pray pray In the name of Jesus. When your mind is stayed on God, every provocation from the pit of hell is silenced. Do you know what happens to you when you sit before the Lord at Mass? There is this kind of contentment you have because you are in the presence of what? My Father. I'm in the presence of what? My God. And when I'm in the presence of my God, no weapon fashioned against me shall do what? Prosper. That every gathering that is not of God calling my name, they do what? They scatter. Remember in the right of what? Exorcism. Before the priest engages in exorcism. And somebody tells me, Father, come and deliver me. I will not deliver you like that. Did you hear me? If anybody tells you, hey, brother, deliver me. Fa, 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 foul. Hey, lay your hand. <laughs> I begin to speak nonsense. The structure, the holy mass, the exposition of the blessed sacrament, the priest goes for confession, and then, he makes an invocation to what a blessed mother the litany of saints then the prayer of exorcism over the individual and remember there are instruments there are, there are sacramental that he must use so those who come to meet me i'm sorry i'm saying it aloud it's just so that others can learn don't come and me and say father deliver me i will not answer you i'll tell you come for saturday prayers but as the word of god is going on You'll be delivered. My God gift is once I'm teaching, deliverance is coming to you. If you open your heart, you will receive. Just a prayer. It is not, my own gift may not be that you are rolling on the floor. No. That as I'm teaching the word, the Lord is breaking 
many strongholds in your life and releasing you to receive him. I pray as you open your heart to receive him this morning. May he who is the mighty God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, deliver you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What did Job do when everything were taken away from him? In Job chapter 1 verse 21, he simply worshipped. What you want child of God while you are in the presence of God do not make a mockery of a man whom you see lying down while the blessed sacrament is exposed you don't know his battle you don't know her battle it is dangerous that you come before God you are so thinking about your clothes common fabric you can't kneel down you can't even sink. You fold your hands and then you are moping, looking up and down. And then you leave mass. What did you gain from mass? And before you know, you start jumping from one church to another. Because you feel that the, the Catholic church has no power. I am saying this online. The Catholic church has what? Power! There is power in the priesthood. There is power in the sacrament. There's a power in the church. When you expose yourself to the teachings of the church, what happens? You watch, you receive grace after grace. Child of God, even as you stand in the presence of God, the weapon of worship is also very important. The worship can also be using music. Remember, as you are worshiping God, you must worship him according to what he pleases, not according to your own style. And that's why I tell my singers that you must meditate on all the songs that I send to you. You cannot be worshiping God when you do not have meditation. Because you will just be singing head. According to the head, not according to the spirit. Kelvin that is playing the keyboard, I train him on how to give me the sound that is what activating this atmosphere. The music partners with the word of God. He says, I will release, I will reveal my secret on the strings of what? The lyre. The drummer, the same thing. We're training them. Small by small, we will get it. And there is no how you behold the presence of God that you will ever remain the same. Something must touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. Worship is a very powerful weapon that can silence the enemy. When you worship God, you can actually change the battle. Remember 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15. The battle is not yours. It's of the Lord. Who is that man that defies you? I worship you. I praise you. I give you thanks and praise as I'm worshiping you. The enemy that throws his arrow at you. The arrow of the altar rises, collides with it and makes it nothing. Because you are worshiping God. When you go to this particular 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21 and 22, we come to see that the Lord gave Jehoshaphat rest round about from all his enemies. Remember, we come to see that even just worship made the enemy collide at each other and began to kill themselves. That while you are worshiping God here in our lady style of the sea, that man or woman in your office who says you will not drink water and keep calm, the Lord will do, deal with him and the fire of the Holy Ghost will rest upon that. When he sees you, he will know, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Because a child of grace has been released. That when you enter into your office, you worship God, the atmosphere changes. When you connect with God, God begins to release mighty things in your life. Worship is a powerful weapon. If you can't sing, play the audio. Let it do the work for you. While you stay in the spirit and you're worshiping God, night and day. 
Child of God, worship is very important. The next weapon is three, is what? But before we go that, go to that particular scripture passage, Psalm 59 verse 17 says, Oh my strength, I will sing praises to you, for you, O oh God, are my fortress when you worship God. Psalm 144 verse 12 says, Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle my mercy and my fortress my stronghold and my deliverer my shield and he in whom i take refuge worship is a powerful weapon worship provokes the terror of god upon the kingdom of darkness it gives god pleasure worship is what god loves to eat he wants to eat it that is the only thing god eats worship praises worship him in spirit and in truth god is spirit god is spirit and those who must worship god must worship god in what i can't hear you spirit and in truth number three the weapon of eucharistic adoration eucharistic adoration this is a weapon God has enabled me through the Eucharistic adoration to deliver many. Just sitting down with them, the Lord frees them from the hands of the enemy. The blessed sacrament is a powerful weapon to wade off the evil one. Let me read to you what St. John Bosco actually said. Those following online here present, please listen. St. John Bosco used to tell his boys who were under his care listen there are two things the devil is deadly afraid of fervent communion and fervent visit to the blessed sacrament if you are having a battle spiritual warfare in your family the one of the secret is always receive holy communion attend mass and receive holy communion Secondly, stay before the Lord in the blessed sacrament. 15 minutes will not kill you. 20 minutes will not kill you. 30 minutes will not kill you. Before you know it, you graduate into one hour, two hours. One of the secrets that helped me as a priest is my mom always going before the blessed sacrament, praying and interceding for me. Mothers, I beg of you, your sons and daughters who are actually giving you headache, please stay before the Lord in the blessed sacrament. When I was in Badagri, there was a time they to talk about this moving of Oro and all that. I used the blessed sacrament because there are times I may sense a wrong presence in the parish. There was a time death every now and then, every month I was burying people. <laughs> Young people. I said, what is this nonsense? I had to shout and cry before the blessed sacrament. Did you bring me here, oh God, to kill the people? Arise, oh God, and keep the enemy away. I told my boy, okay, come on, let's go. I had this MP3. I put it in my pocket. I wear my stole. After celebrating Mass, the Mass of the Holy Spirit, then I will expose the blessed sacrament. And then I will put the MP3 in my pocket. While it is playing, what is it playing? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you not any kind of prayer the devil is afraid of the blessed mother i want you to hear this those who don't like praying the rosary pray the rosary every morning in our lady's town the sea before mass we shall always pray the rosary look at my own rosary in my pocket though it's here before me every now and then Don't mind the big head. It must enter. I'll put it in my pocket and I then I'll wear it. The rosary. Powerful. And then I will move those blessed sacraments around the parish. And then as I moved it, I just discovered that the Lord began to answer the prayer. Death stopped in the parish. I pray for you. That every voice of the grave 
calling for any life here in our lady's pal the sea it goes down silent in the mighty name of jesus i didn't hear that amen say amen let the prison gates be opened power the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god a father and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us now and forever in Jesus' name. You see, dear friends, brothers and sisters, the devil is afraid of a man who receives Holy Communion and then does what? Stays before the Blessed Sacrament. Look at the question he asked. He says, do you want our Lord to grant you many graces? Visit him often. If you want graces, visit him often. Do you want him to grant you only a few grace? Visit him only seldom. Do you want the devil to attack you? Rarely visit the blessed sacrament. Do you want the devil to flee from you? Visit Jesus often. Do you want to overcome the devil? Take refuge at Jesus' feet. Remember it was said of Mary. She sat at the feet of Jesus. Mary has done what? Chosen the better part. Today we are celebrating matter. Matter, matter. You worry and fret over so many things. But only a few is important. Mary has chosen the better part. And it should never be taken away from her. So sitting before the blessed sacrament is a wonderful weapon. He says, do you want to overcome the devil? Give up visiting Jesus. No, do you want to be overcome by the devil? Give up visiting Jesus. Visiting the blessed sacrament is essential, dear boys. If you want to overcome the devil, therefore make frequent visit to Jesus. If you do that, the devil will never prevail against you. I pray that as you have beheld, beheld his presence this morning, the enemy will not defeat you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the reason why we sang that song, Take us from glory to glory. From glory to glory. Many saints are known to have exorcised many faithful by the presence of the blessed sacrament. We know of St. Bernard. We know of St. John of the Cross. We know St. Francis the Sales. We know St. Peter of Ver Verona. When other, other, other saints who have actually done so much with using the blessed sacrament. The next weapon, because of time, is the weapon of fasting. The weapon of fasting. What does fasting do for you? Fasting lifts your spirit. Fasting makes your prayer effective. The word of God came to Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6, it says, God told Isaiah that they fast properly. A fast properly undertaken would loose the bonds of wickedness, undo the thongs of the yoke, let the oppressed go free. Your fasting was always to bring about justice, not evil. Daniel chapter 9 verse 3 revealed that while the prophet was praying, the prince of Pesha came to attack him and he took the intercession of St. Michael the archangel, one of the angels some, some, one of the seven angels that stands in the presence of God to command the hands of the enemy to be off the life of what? Daniel. And then the prayer of Daniel was heard. When you pray, your spirit man is light, he made light and then you can connect with God. When you fast, you are actually gaining authority. When you fast, you are able to command and then you pass a decree. When you fast, you are able to become sharper spiritually. When you fast, you are able to perceive in your spirit the word of God accurately. When you fast, when you fast, you become strong. In Mark chapter 9 verse 29 reveals Jesus giving his disciples secret of how to overcome demonic possessions. Prayer and fasting. F fasting is the wet stone. A wet stone simply means the stone that sharpens tools. It's a wet stone that helps your prayer to be effective. Fasting is a spiritual muscle that when exercised regularly strengthens the trust of that weapon to pierce the enemy and drive him away from you. Fasting takes you to the level where you can do extraordinary things.
fast and places you in the realm where you can assess great possibilities in the realm of the spirit. That when you fast, you command an authority. And that is why before you come for Saturday prayers, it is important for you to fast so that you do not become grumpy even as you are sitting in the presence of God. That when you fast, you are able to, to connect easily to the things of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. So it is important that a child of God should be able to fast at least three times a week. If food is more important than your destiny, then you are, you are sitting on a very dangerous thing, dear child of God. Fasting is very important. The more you fast, the more your spirit man is sharpened. The more you fast, you are able to connect with God. Don't mind what many excuses were given today. Child of God is important that we fast and as we fast, we are able to assess grace. You cannot assess power if you do not fast. I know that some people might be having ulcer, but it's important that you do not fast to destroy this body because you are spirit. And you need this body to move about in this earth realm. And for you to do the works of the Lord, you need to take care of your health. So if you are actually on medication or you are actually, a you're, you're actually having maybe something like ulcer, it is important for you not to destroy yourself. You can take to other corporate works of mercy. But then you are standing from something that will actually defy your connect with God. So fasting also means staying away from anything that will make you sin against God. So it's important for you to fast. So this is the balance. You are healthy. Remember that even as you are aspiring for power, you are aspiring to grow spiritually, you must take care of your flesh. Very important. This is the only thing you have on earth to walk on this earth. If you destroy through sickness, then you can find yourself not fulfilling your destiny. But then I can not fast because I have what ulcer or I'm aged or I'm having one sickness or the other. But God heal you from that sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. The balm of Gilead will release it upon you. The balm of Gilead. He is the perfect healer. He has decreed a word and it shall be firmly established. Any man here experiencing ulcer or any kind of sickness, I release his hand of grace. I pray for you. Be healed from it in the mighty name of Jesus. So whatever thing that you are actually having that is troubling your life, you can actually present it before God in fasting. But like I said, you are having one sickness or the other, please do some corporate works of mercy and then abstain from things that will actually offend God. So it's important for us to fast. Then the next weapon, after this we move into prayers. The next weapon is a weapon of what? The word of God, sacred scripture. Jesus prepared for his battle with the devil through prayer and fasting. But when he came to engage the enemy in the field, on the field of battle, he chose an effective weapon. And that is a weapon of the word of God. Satan himself knows this word of God. You must know that. Look at the temptation of Jesus. But Jesus is the eternal word of God. He is the master. He was able to outsway Satan using the word. Simply it is what? Written. It is written is more, is more important than any argument. It is written. Where is it in scripture? It is written. And Jesus quoted Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 6 and Deuteronomy chapter 6 in order to combat and defeat the enemy. There are times the enemy might feed into your mind. Remember thoughts when we talked about the ordinary activities of the enemy. Can actually seduce you and make you feel that you are empty and you cannot achieve anything. The only way you can rebuke that word is through the word of God. Sometimes you are confused. Find out where it is written about you, where it is written about your family, where it is written about your, you, 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 in fact, that particular thing, whether it is failure, whether it is rise and fall, whether it is sickness, whether it is anything at all that troubles your life. Find out where it is written in the word of God. 
For the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18, I and the children that the Lord has given to me are for signs and what? Wonders. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says the word of God is what? Active, sharper than any two-edged sword. We must fortify ourselves with the word of God. You must study the word of God. When you come to mass, listen to the word of God. Listen to the homely, meditate on this word of God. If the devil should tempt you to doubt, the word of God says, this is how you decree. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for the word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9, God is faithful by whom I was called into fellowship with his son, the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. And so because God is faithful, I will not be afraid. When the devil comes to accuse you, you will use the word of God. The word of God says in Revelation chapter 12 verse 10, the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down. You are down and you remain down forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, amen. When the devil frightens you, you will say with King David in Psalm 23, I fear the Lord is my shepherd. I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. When you are seeking for favor, you say goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. If Satan tries to seduce you away from God, we can also say with the Lord in Matthew chapter 5 verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And if the devil tries to provoke you, you can also use the word of God found in the prophet Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. It says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. When the devil comes to tell you that you are a failure, you will say with the word of God is saying, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where cometh my help? My help shall come from the Lord who made what? Heaven and earth. When the devil tells you that you see darkness all around, you will say with the word of God in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1, Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. You are having difficulty, you say, I shine unto brightness. Kings are coming to my light. Nations are coming to my light. Gentiles and their kings are coming to the brightness of my light. When the devil says that you're not going to be fruitful, you say, the Lord has decreed a word in John chapter 15, verse 1 to 5, that I am fruitful. I decree and I declare I am fruitful. The devil tells you you're going to fail. The Lord has not declared that over my life. For he has given a decree and, and has passed a decree unto me. Be fruitful. I'm not a failure. You will never fail. You have to pass a decree using the word of God. You must master the word of God. The Lord is what? My tower of safety. That the righteous run to him and they are delivered. You say the word of God in Psalm 91, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say of the Lord, you are my refuge, you are my God, in him I trust. You decree using the word of God in Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon fashioned against me shall ever what? Prosper. That as I go, I have overcome with the blood of the Lamb. I plead the blood of Jesus over this aircraft as I enter it. Over the air hostess, the captain, the pilot, over every passenger. I cover, the blood, cover this atmosphere with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and I declare that no weapon formed against me shall ever stand. I go forward for it is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. I and my children will march forward. We are never going backward. Every voice from the grave is silenced. He says for every reproach for the word of God says in Genesis chapter 33. Deuteronomy chapter 33 that he has taken away the reproaches of Rachel. He has also taken my own reproach away. 
you can say of the Lord in Genesis chapter 46, verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That as I'm going, I'm raising an altar. That this altar, by booking mass is an altar. You are booking mass, you are raising an altar. That as I'm going for this interview, oh Lord, I send the angels of God ahead of me. For he has given charge to his, to his angels to keep me from failing. This is the word of God found in Psalm 91 verse 11. You must master the word of God and use it in prayer. I decree and I declare I shall be successful. Doors are shut against you. You will quote the word of God in Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 to 8. It says, before I set a door for you that no one can shut, neither as it is open, no one can do what? Close it. Therefore, I prophesy, I declare, and I declare, doors are open unto me on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. Doors are open. Can you rise on your feet and let us pray? We can continue the other one. Say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and I declare I shall not die and shall live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living forever and ever. Somebody pray as you say amen. Pray. Declare it. Declare it. Somebody pray. I shall not die. I shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Go ahead and pray. Pray child of God. Pray. Pray. Pray, pray. I am, 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 I shall not die. Pray. Somebody pray. I pray, pray, pray in the spirit. Every voice from the pit of hell. I cancel it by the power of the most high. I decree and I declare, I shall not die. For the word of God has said that no man perform the against me shall ever prosper. I decree and I declare, I will leave the number of years that God has said that I will leave. I hold on to the altar, to the four halls of the altar. I pass a decree that joy may fall upon every accuser. Every voice of the hell, every strife, every altar, calling for my life, saying that I will die. I will not die. I will live and decree and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Pray, try to call. Pray. 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 From the against you. You have seen in your vision a child of yours dying. You have seen in your vision your father, your mother died. I decree and I declare as a priest sent to you, a little star of the sea, falling online. I pass a decree in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. I pass a decree. Every death sentence ends now in the name of Jesus. Now it's time to release prisons. Every prison, every entrapment, every cage that any child of God here in our ladies' town of the sea have been held. I pass a decree. Every chain, every yoke, every bondage, spiritual bondage, spiritual yoke that has been waged upon you, I cast that power. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every bondage, every chain that ties you, that ties your productivity or ties your mobility, say you will not go forward, limiting you. You go forward one day and you go back 10 years behind. I cause a power. I say, may you be free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everybody decree and declare, say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
I go forward, never backward. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Decree, I go forward. Make a prophetic movement. You can leave your chair and make a prophetic movement. I go forward by light. I go forward by revelation. Make a decree. As you are moving, your children are going forward. Your generation are going forward. I go forward in our ladies' town, the sea. We move forward. Somebody's praying. Full aid online here present. Begin to pray. This is a weapon you have. The weapon of prayer. Pray, child of God, every barrier, every limitation, out, out of your life, out of your family, pray, child of God. in your office in the marketplace in the school in the church wherever I push you forward in the name of Jesus return with your testimonies ah, the Lord is saying you should shout seven hallelujah very hot one because somebody's coming out of that prison somebody's coming out of that bonding somebody's coming out of that yoke at the count of three you will shout seven hallelujah one two three go ahead number two number three number four number five number six number seven Go forward, 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 spiritually and physically, go forward, break every chain, they never set light in the name of Jesus. We pass a decree in the name of the Spirit. Move forward, child of God, and find prophetically by revelation. Child of God, you enter into your rest in Jesus' name. Joseph was afraid. The Lord gave him a secret. The secret of worship. This is what you have done. Now look at what God did to him. Did for him. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 30. And he said, So the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet. Quiet from trouble. Quiet from attacks. Quiet from pestilences. Quiet from the arrows that fly by day and the arrows that fly by night. Why was his atmosphere in Israel quiet? For his God gave him rest round about. Somebody will enter into rest. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, give me rest round about. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and release it. Rest, rest, rest. You need rest round about. Rest, rest, rest round about. Rest financially, 
rest morally, rest intellectually, rest materially, rest. I get on it. You are my God. You did it. You did it for Jehoshaphat. Do it for me. Give me rest. Rest round about. Father, give me rest. Rest from all my enemies. Rest from all my trouble. Oh God, my Father. Oh God, God bless me. Bless me, oh God. Bless me. Give me rest. Rest round about. Rest round about. Rest round about. Ah. Any man chasing after you, saying he wants to take away your glory, the Lord will give you rest in that area in the name of Jesus. Commenting your life, the Lord will give you rest in that area in the name of Jesus. You are having trouble in your company, the Lord will give you rest in that area in the name of Jesus. In your family, the Lord will give you rest in the name of Jesus. Every night you are having attacks. See yourself, see masquerades in your dream. The Lord will give you rest in the name of Jesus. Every arrow that flies by day or by night, troubling your life, promotion is meant for you and it's being delayed. What should come easy? You are struggling with it. May the Lord give you rest in the name of Jesus. You will go and you return with testimonies. The joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Do you believe? I can't hear you. As you believe, take that grace now. Take that grace. Enter into a new realm, a new atmosphere. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Take it in the name of Jesus. Return with your hands full with testimonies. When you are walking, the angels are walking around you. Before you go to that office, before your arrival, favor, the angel of favor will have stationed there. The grace, the Esther anointing, that Esther anointing, that all eyes beholding your face will favor you. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every resources that you need to make your life beautiful. Remember, resources is not only money. You need wisdom knowledge understanding you need strength you need power these are resources if it is only money you have missed the point when i pray for resources i am praying for strength i am praying for wisdom i am praying for intelligence i'm praying for knowledge resources that will make you exceptional in your workplace receive that grace in the name of jesus That when men come to you, they will see that there's no other man, no other one that has lifted you except the hand of God. Our lady style, they see, rise to a new place. Dwell there, run there, and always excel there. Remain on top forever and ever. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Do something for the Lord. Do something for the Lord. Do something for the Lord. Are there pregnant women here? Pregnant women. If you are pregnant or you are praying for someone who is pregnant to seek the fruit of the womb, this is what has been coming. Please step forward very quickly. I just want to pray for you. Pray for you. Remain standing. Please don't sit. Oh, we, have not, we are about to end. Just come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. You are praying for the fruit of the womb, but you are praying for someone. Please come forward. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you now and forever in the mighty name of Jesus. That grace that rested upon the, the Israelites to make them productive and fruitful in the land of Egypt, the Lord will make you fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. 
as the Lord took away the reproach of Rachel, he will take away your reproach in the name of Jesus. As he took away the reproach of Hannah, he will take away your reproach in the name of Jesus. As the Lord answers Sarah, he will... May the Lord in his mercy answer our prayers. Give us reason to testify, none forever through Christ our Lord. Thanksgiving. Before one now, one now, one now, one now, I never see, I never see, one now, one now, one now, one now. I never, never see this can go before one now, one now, one now, one now. I never see, I never see, one now, one now, one now, one now. It's the way you do. For me, yeah, yeah, yeah. you put on my bread and you sugar my. You lift me up above my sewage. You lift me up over principalities and power. See this can't go before. Oh, yeah. I never see this can't go before. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see, I never see. I never see this can come before. This God now. This God now. This God now. I never see, I never see. Let me see you clap your hands. Ba, ba. Everybody. Ba, ba. Ba, ba. Ba, ba. I never see, I never see what no one now. I never see this can come before. I never, 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 never see this can come before. This God now, this God now, I never see this can come before. You can't be sitting and be saying Jesus now, wonder, wonder. You need to stand. I got it, let us sing hallelujah let us shout hallelujah to the lord let us sing hallelujah let us shout hallelujah to the lord jesus is worthy to be praised, think of glory everlasting. To the Lord, shout hallelujah! Hey. Hallelujah! 
shout hallelujah hey. Hallelujah. Children of God shout hallelujah hey. Hallelujah Shout hallelujah hey. Hallelujah One, two, three Hallelujah na yo oh no hey, baba oh. Hallelujah na yo oh no baba oh. Hallelujah na yo oh no Baba oh, hallelujah, na yo oh no, Baba oh. Give a clap of it unto the Lord. Clap for Father Sukwa for being here with us. Father Sukwa will leave us, most probably because I'm pressing on him to leave us on Monday, but I don't know, but he might leave us tomorrow. So please remember that he needs your help to build a parish church. And I pray that as you help him, may God also help you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Put your hands together for those following online, those who are present. May the Lord bless you for us in the name of Jesus. So let us go. Let us go. The band. Oh, God, sing my 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 God